Hello, I'm Sora Luxon, and this is Tarot Card Five of Cups, aka what I term for neophytes so that it's easy to remember, the Darth Vader card. Because it's all of that neg. It is all of the bad with any possibility of silver lining redemption being utterly ignored. All that black cloak wearing, no face showing dread, and it is coming at you hard and nasty in the Five of Cups. Here, multiple chalices fall over and away from us in this card, in the loss of pleasure. From the first to 10th degree, Mars and Scorpio does not create or generate anything, but instead drains away. All has spilled away, and disappointment becomes paramount. The Lord of the End of Pleasures advises us of deficiency and depletion, even of death, those sorts of endings. Where we had hoped or looked to find joy or pleasure, there is instead casualty, harm, sorrow, detraction, possibly even destructions. The deceit of treachery also plays here, in the turn cloak, who shows only their back to the viewer. So ill will, grief, and a complete dissolution or misuse, misappropriation, and devastating lack of appreciation towards any kind of charity or other heart-centered kindnesses, you can expect the sudden, full, and devastating end of anything fun if you're looking at the Five of Cups upright. Dispossession, detriment, loneliness, mishap, despair, harm, trauma, waste, instability, and even ruin are the words that go where the Lord of Lost Pre Pleasures leads. And people think the tower is a bad card, right? So lots of emotional baggage and regret here. All sorts of stress, anxiety-laden dramas, and trouble especially troubles coming out of the woodwork from unexpected places. The individual focuses on the negative that has and is occurring. So this person is really just focusing on the bad and in doing so can't take any notice of the two cups still upright. Although those two are empty and that should be noticed. Abandoned on a lonely shore, this is a figure either weeping over losses or actively creating them by focusing on them while ashamedly hiding their face. Getting back what is gone is impossible and there is also an inability to appreciate what remains. Gabora of He describes to us the end of important relationships like the end of business partnerships and marriages. It mourns disappointing relationships of all kinds, hurtful breakups. It curls inward on the misery of friendships turned very sour or duplicitous, people's unkindnesses and betrayals and hurts from unexpected places we wouldn't have ever thought to question or to be suspicious of in the first place. So what to do? Loss is hard. Feel it. Accept it. This is loss. It happens. Pleasures end. It isn't easy. Take a moment to feel how you're going to feel. Feel the feels, right? Feel how you're going to feel about it so that you can later, when you're ready, move on. Be sad. Be hurt. Feel disappointed. It's one of the many wonderful lessons of life. They aren't all pleasant. They aren't supposed to be. Assess loss. Take an accounting of it so that you can cope with it. We all get unhappy about what we don't have when it's denied to us. Devastation occurs. Allow those feelings. Let them out. Acknowledge them. Acknowledge pain. The Five of Cups reversed. In the Five of Cups reversed, one of two things is possible. The first of which is as a minor arcana card in a reversal, cups being emotions, it could just mean a lessened extent 
of those many adjectives I was saying before. So a lesser extent of devastation, uh, pain, harm, a lesser type of breakup, a lesser type of loss in business or grief. The second possibility is that now in the Five of Cups reversed, we're dealing with misery in an unhealthy and prolonged, very unbalanced way. The Lord of Pleasure Reversed shows us that it's time to stop focusing on our disappointments and turn back around, move on, find a way back across that river and back to the shelter on the far shore. It's time to move on from the grieving process. There's a real hanging on to anguish here going on or holding on to sadness and it needs to end. It could be because the person who experienced loss, likely the querent, hasn't admitted to that loss or to their own grief. They can't let go because in being denied the light to express itself, that pain has become this very unacknowledged part of them. Maybe they don't know how to cry or be hurt. Maybe they're too embarrassed or too conditioned to allow themselves to feel pain or to express it appropriately. But usually it's because the hurt, whatever it is, is so large, so big, that they're now terrified it will overcome them, overtake them, overwhelm them if it's given any room to exist. And that just simply isn't the case. It has to be allowed to exist, to be dealt with. So this is the time to allow it. Allow it so that it can be shed, so that it can be moved on from. Look up, look around. And engage with what remains to you. That is what you build from. Pick those two unfallen cups up and get going again. The show must go on. Until next time.